And you gon' watch us, man Go Mama Jones, go Papa Jones And we ain't watchin' nothing else Cause this new channel we on What up, Mama Jones squad? Welcome to my craft room, you guys. Um, I am about to strip these tumblers I seen on YouTube. So I got this um, stripping gel. So these are tumblers that I messed up and tumblers that wasn't purchased, you guys. Um, yeah, so I don't know. We finna get into stripping. So I have my fall paper. So let's start with this one. I don't know if it's going to take the diamonds off of here or not, but we will see because I can resin these and sell them. So I'm going to start off with this one. So I'm just going to pour a little on here. So you need some stripping gel, you guys. And a paintbrush is what I see. So you're just gonna rub it on, paint it on to the tumbler. Let me see if it's gonna work. I'm gonna put it on the rhinestones too to see can I get them off. Like so. So we just gonna get these. So I won't waste my money. And this was a birthday tumble I had made. They never came and picked it up. <sighs> I've been holding it since I think March. Uh, this might as well go on. turn it into something else. We're gonna do a, I guess I'll resin these, you guys. So what I'm since I got enough on here, you just want to make sure all the, the stripping gel on the tumblers. We're gonna see if this gonna come right off. Well, it ain't gonna come right off, but you have to set a couple of hours. Then I have to spray paint them. So, but I won't waste my tumblers. So we're gonna just put this one over here. Make sure we you make sure you cover all oh shucks you guys. Make sure you get all the paint stripping on here. Take it and wrap it up in fall paper. I lay it down and wrap it up. Pour it up. So we're gonna stick that one to the side. We're gonna wrap this one up. Bang. Sit it on to the side. Come on over. That noise y'all hear, that's the lawnmower, you guys. They cutting my grass. So. All right, gang. So, as I did yesterday, y'all know I put the, um, Stuff on the tumblers to strip them, you guys. We finna see do it works. Let's see. I'm gonna unwrap one. Let's see. Look at that. Okay. Okay. Let's see if these rhinestones gonna remove. Not no. So okay. Cool. It didn't remove the rhinestones. Now some I might have to wrap again. I'm gonna wash them and see first. If not, I'm just gonna wrap them again to see. But this is how you strip your tumblers, you guys. 
Okay, this is the one I had the resin on and I see my resin ain't moving. So yeah, I'm gonna save these. I'm gonna figure out how to, I'm gonna do something with these blue rhinestones, you guys. Um, check this one. And it just peels. Look at that, right on off. So you got to make sure you get the full coverage. So, yeah, we're gonna turn these bad boys into something. I don't have no money to waste. Go away. I might have to wrap them again, but I'm gonna wash them first and see. These are the stripped tumblers. Okay, this is the one that I had rhinestones on. So what I'm gonna do is create another blue cup with something. So. My rhinestones won't go to waste. Where am I cut? So yeah, it's just gonna peel off. So what I'm gonna do is wash them and see. You wanna make sure you cover it good, you guys, so it can just come on, peel on off. If not, I might have to just rewrap them again once I wash them to see. But your tumblers, your, sub, your tumblers will not go to waste. So this is what you need to remove the paint, the ink from the sublimation tumblers, you guys. So stay tuned. I'm going to see, clean them up and see do I have to um, redo them. If not, I'm just going to spray paint them white or some color so I can do something else with them. Because right here I'm looking at at least $80, $60 a tumblers that something has to be done with. So y'all stay tuned. Let me see how much work I got to do on these tumblers. All right, gang. So here's the results of me stripping the, tum the, the tumblers. Um, so I have to go back over them one more time. So you want to make sure that you get the nice. Get it coated enough and wrapped enough so you won't have to do it but one time. So I'm going to do it again so I can strip them completely. And like I said again, um, it's one that I did. I had rhinestones, you guys. Let's find it. Okay, this one with the rhinestones. Okay, it didn't strip the rhinestones. So what I'm going to do is... Um, I'm going to do something with this cup. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. This is a cup I had made. It never was picked up. Um, so I got to do something with it. This one is one I made that I messed up, but I put resin on it, you guys. The resin and the resin ain't coming. Wait, wait, I might could peel this resin off some, but I'm going to figure out what to do with this cup. So right now, what I'm about to do is begin to you this citrus strip, you guys. And you can purchase it at your local Walmart for around $15, I think, something like that. So, yeah, I'm going to strip these cups so I can figure out what I'm going to turn them into. So I'm just going to add a little... And we're gonna just go on the cup where the where there's more ink. I'm gonna put enough. I was trying to be lenient the last time and see. I'm just gonna everywhere that you have paint. So everywhere you have paint, you guys, you want to just put it on there. And again, I let it sit longer than 
eight hours or four hours. I let it sit overnight, but I'm sure I'm gonna come back in a couple hours and check them so I can go on, get them cleaned up and ready for some crafting. I'm gonna put this around here again, see if this paint that I might kind of go under the layer of this paper and see where other paint, but I doubt it. So you just wanna make sure you got all of it covered. Go along the side of these diamonds again to see, can I clean it up a little bit around there? It might come on out for that. It need to. So, yeah. Down there. Come on, do this one. I'll get this on wrapped up. When you finish, make sure you wash out your brush so you can use it again, you guys. That paint all around that rim. Now these bad boys are gonna be ready for spray painting. Or you can spray paint them or whatever, but I'm gonna resin them. Like this gonna be one of my really first resin cups that I do. I don't know how I'm gonna do it yet, but I'm gonna do it. You know, Mom Jones just not trying to get into this old crafting stuff, you know, you know. But that's why it's good to watch YouTube because I would have threw these in the trash, like waste the cups, but I didn't have to. I found out how to strip them, what I needed to get, get it off of here. So, the main thing you're going to need, you're going to need a, a paintbrush. Definitely going to need a paintbrush. You're going to need some citrus strip, you guys. Don't wrap your cups, strip them, and find something else to do with them. And you want to make sure you wrap them tight. Don't let no air get in them so they can go on. Get ready. So, wrap them one more time. And this citrus, this this citrus strip did not have no bad smell. Yeah, some stuff with chemicals. Uh, things. Gonna wrap it really good. So I learned. Take your time, which I just thought I was taking my time in the beginning of the video, wrapping them, you guys, and trying to make sure that I had it all covered. Yes, it did. So you just gonna make sure it's covered and coated real good so that paint can go on ink can get a gone get off of there. Wrap it real tight. Then I have I'm gonna try one probably with um uh, using my season Juliet. Probably put something on it. I haven't really messed with that in a minute. But we will be getting back to crafting and trying to do some things. This 
cutting it don't want to stay on the table. sometime today but that is how you strip your cups you guys and you don't have to throw them away you can find something else to do with them um if somebody know another way let me know uh some bling removal or something because yeah i tell y'all some of them was some i messed up some was some that was purchased, you guys. Well, supposed to be purchased, was never was purchased. So yeah, I just tell y'all, you gonna do orders or take orders, make sure they put a deposit first because at the end of the day, you losing out on, you know, your products. Like the bling, bling cost you, the ink cost you, the paper cost you. I mean, it's, and it's not cheap, so. If you're going to do orders or whatever, make sure you get your deposit first or either pay pay up in advance. That way you won't lose out on stuff. But yeah. Y'all get this video a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe on game. Head ass gang. 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 On that. On that. Head ass gang. Get no butter head ass. Hey. Sausage head ass, hey. 